Let us stand and begin our liturgy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Yes, Besides uh, the feast of uh, St. Stephen of Hungary, this is the uh, monthly mass for our deceased alums and their families. Stephen was a uh, 10th century uh, saint of Hungary. Uh, we honor him, our first century, excuse me, uh, uh, saint of Hungary who uh, served these people well. So we honor Stephen and the people of Hungary today. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your church, we pray, Almighty God, that she may have Saint Henry, uh, Stephen of Hungary, who fostered her growth while in a, a king on earth, as her glorious defender in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> I read from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have ears to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear. For they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day, while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as though for exile. And again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime, while they are looking on. In the evening, again, while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out in the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land. For I have made you a sign of the house of Israel. I did as I was told. During the day, brought my baggage as though that of an exile. And that evening I dug a hole through the wall with my hand. And, and while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then in the morning the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, did not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them, thus says the Lord God, this oracle concerns Jerusalem. And the whole house of Israel with it. I am the Son, I am for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder his burden and set it in the darkness. Derek, going through a hole he has dug out in the wall, and covering his face, lest he is being seen by anyone. The Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They tempted and rebellious, rebelled against God the Most High, and kept to His decrees. They turned back and were faithless. Like their fathers, they recoiled like a tre treacherous bat. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They endangered Him with their high places and with their idols roused with jealousy. God heard and was enraged and utterly rejected Israel. Do not forget the words of the Lord. And he surrendered his strength into capacity, his glory in his hands of the foe. He abandoned his people to the sword and was engaged against his inheritance. Do not forget the words of the Lord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the Lord be with you. A reading from Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor that was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all of his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Uh, now, when his fellow servant saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I have pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he pay, should pay back the whole debt. So will your Heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgive your brother or your sister from their heart. When Jesus uh, finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Job is well done with our reading. Good Catholic education. You had a great way of doing that reading. Thank you very much. I'd like to focus on today's uh, gospel, but it's clearly uh, maybe a gospel that either helps us or haunts us. Uh, being patient. We're not very patient in our world. We're always rushing here and rushing there. I went up to New Hampshire yesterday and trying to get through the track of Boston, and people are not patient. Their horns are honking, and it was raining, and a whole series of things kind of kept people made people slow down, but they didn't want to be patient. Uh, in, in our world today, we learn how, to be, learn how to be patient. I don't know if we can identify with any of the characters in our story today. Either the king who uh, was patient with his fellow servant, or the servant who got the, uh, reprieved, or that same servant who ended up uh, kicking the other guy down. Uh, so let us look at our lives this day and see how patient we are. Or do we uh, demand quickly uh, someone to pay us back? Or are we able to be patient and be able to forgive 70 times 7? Please stand now for our prayers of the faithful. We bring our needs together to our God, confident God hears them. We pray for the church, for the grace of anagenic faith, to look for every opportunity to create a world of peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for leaders of the church and nation, for the grace of wisdom, compassion, and self-sacrifice. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for the poor, for the grace to let go of despair, isolation, and unproductive anger as we seek solutions for our failing economy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for young people, especially the new and returning students of Stonehill, for the grace to learn, to seek wisdom, to avoid harmful influences and in unsafe situations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died, especially the members of the Stonehill alumni. Deceased alumni, James F. Murray, class of 1955. Deceased relatives, Lawrence Donoghue, deceased father of Thomas Donoghue, class of 1997. 
and daughter-in-law of Allison Donoghue, also class of 1997. Paul F. Norton, deceased father of Leo Norton, class of 1993. Stephen Cruz, the deceased spouse of Judith Cruz, class of 1991, and father of Carolyn and Susan, also alumna of Stonehill. And for those who are paralyzed by grief, struggling to live with the loss of someone they love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause for a moment to add our own intentions. First Thanksgiving, the many blessings in our lives. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, Jan for Janice Lindstrom and, and her retirement, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Special intention to pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a safe trip to my family going to Oregon today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, caring God, if you few in the needs we do speak, we ask you to hear them and grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of your blessed Saint Stephen, bestow on us your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as though your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed us anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all that uh, redeem praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, too, we extol you with all the angels, as joyfully we celebrate. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict our Pope, George our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, especially St. Andre, St. Stephen, Blessed Basil, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share a sign of that. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May the second we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of uh, blessed Stephen, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to uh, be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit come upon us this day. Now let us go in peace. Thanks. 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 I think it was nice hearing a lawnmower, not a, a snowblower, huh? <laughs>